Fine hair versus thin hair. With all the different hair types and curl pattern algorithms circling the internet, it can be challenging to figure out your hair's unique identity and get the best hairstyle for your hair's needs. Two terms come into mind that seem interchangeable, fine and thin. Everyone from your go-to hairstylist to your favorite YouTube hair gurus, they use these words to describe your hair. But what do the terms fine and thin actually mean regarding your hair? Which word determines the health of your hair? Look no further, we're gonna dish out the tea on defining these words for yourself. First, we have to do a hair analysis. The hair analysis is where you determine what kind of hair you actually have. Numerous factors, they come into play when determining whether your hair is fine, thin, or a mixture of both. And receiving a thorough hair and scalp analysis done by a licensed professional will tell you everything that you need to know about your hair. Lucky for you all, I am actually a licensed cosmetologist, so I would love to give you guys the 411. So, figuring out your hair's type is essential when you're understanding how to style and adequately care for your hair. For example, having thin hair, it means avoiding heavy styling because thinning hair can lead to hair loss. When I was transitioning from relaxed to natural hair, I noticed that my hair was initially thin. However, due to the misconception, I assumed that my hair was fine rather than thin. When analyzing your hair, you wanna be sure to look into whether your hair feels heavy after product application. When brushing your hair, does it feel difficult to work through? Do you need to use many styling products to make it manageable? You probably don't have thin or fine hair if you answered yes to any of those questions. But if you're anything like me, you have thick, medium to coarse hair, which means you don't have to worry about the thin versus fine debate as long as you maintain the health of your hair. However, if your hair is nothing like just described, you might have thin or fine hair, but it's okay. Remember that it is possible to have both hair types and still style however you desire. So Kayla, what does fine hair actually mean? Fine hair relates to the texture of your hair. The texture of your hair, it determines if your hair is fine, medium, or coarse. You can think of textures as the feel of your hair. The shape of individual hair strands is actually cylindrical, and the diameter determines the texture of the strand and ultimately affects how it feels. Fine hair has the smallest diameter and a more fragile cuticle layer than medium and coarser textures. The cuticle layer is the outside layer of the hair strand. Therefore, Hair color, products, and oils, they can more easily penetrate through finer hair textures. Medium and coarser hair textures, they have a more compact cuticle layer, and that may hinder hair products from actually supplying the proper nutrients and moisture needed. A fine hair texture is healthy and normal, and it's actually based on genetics and ethnicity. In addition, regular moisture and protein treatments can benefit and strengthen the overall health of your hair. To find out the hair texture of your hair at home, roll just one strand of hair in between your thumb and your index fingers, like that. Fine hair will feel fragile like sewing thread, whereas coarser hair will feel more like a piece of yarn. You guys get my drift? Okay. Now, is your hair thinning? Although often used as a synonym for fine hair, the term thin hair does not describe your strand's specific characteristics. Hair density determines whether the hair is thin, medium, or thick. Hair density measures the number of individual hair strands per square inch of the scalp. So this means if there are a lot of hair strands per square inch on your scalp and you cannot see the scalp well when you part the hair or if the hair is blowing in the wind, then the hair has a high density or it's thick. But if there aren't a lot of hair strands present and you can easily see the scalp when parting the hair, then the hair has a low density or it's thin. People with thin hair will most likely have a lot more scalp showing when you're parting their hair with a particular style. Genetics and excessive strain from certain hairstyles can cause hair to thin. Age and pregnancy can also affect the thickness of your hair. Substantial manipulation will also result in thinner hair. Since fine hair relates to texture and thin hair refers to density, you can have many different combinations of hair textures and densities with hair care routines specific to each one. It is possible to have fine thick hair, which looks like a lot of fine strands of hair, coarse thin hair, which looks like 
thicker hair strands, but not a lot of them, and fine, thin hair. With that being said, it's finally time to search for your next hairstyle that caters to your hair needs and slay the day away. If you have thin hair, you wanna choose styles that do not require grooming and touching your hair daily. If you're wearing extensions, braids, twists, or even wigs for an extended period of time, these styles can actually strain your hair, especially around the perimeter or the hairline or those edges. You wanna be sure to take breaks between highly manipulative hairstyles to give your hair rest and time to restore strength to the strands. On average, we lose approximately 100 strands per day from shedding. Yes, 100 strands, it's completely normal. However, if you're losing more than 100 strands on average, then you may be experiencing hair thinning. Specified vitamins, supplements, and specialized hair care products are available to counteract this effect. So Kayla, what if I have combination hair? Where do I fit in? People with combination of fine and thin hair, they should take gentle care of their hair as too much strain or heavy manipulation can cause the strands to break or weaken. You wanna opt for hairstyles that do not require daily styling and arranging. Instead, we recommend choosing gentle protective styles that give your hair a break. Instead of a traditional sew-in, try clip-ins or tape-in extensions. You will be able to achieve the same gorgeous style while letting your hair thrive. People who have fine and thick hair, they may struggle with maintaining enough volume. To get the fabulous diva goddess mane, you wanna blow dry or diffuse the hair while your head is upside down. The magic is in the roots. Ensure they are fluffy and they can give you the desired volume. Now with the people with the combination of coarse and thin hair, you wanna opt for styles that do not require a lot of parts. This way, you can enjoy your natural volume and easily hide the exposed areas of your scalp. Now what about styling? Styling finer or thinner hair types isn't always an easy process. For example, many people with thin hair, they complain that it's difficult to style their hair. However, if you use the right tools, you won't find any issues with styling. There are plenty of resources available for you to use. Don't forget to be adventurous with your product usage as well. Do whatever works best to get the perfect style for you and your hair type. Say bye-bye to the flat iron. Also, depending on your hair type, you'll need to ensure that you don't rely too much on thermal styling. Yes, I said it, give the flat iron a rest. Are you ready to slay? Now that you're in the know, you can confidently care for your hair with the royal treatment. So you can share this new knowledge next time your stylist, your favorite YouTuber, or your best girlfriend asks you about the difference between fine and thin hair. Tell us, did you learn something new or do you have more info to add? Please let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. You guys know I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.